brothers and sisters, this is So Scared and welcome to another highlight video. Today I'm releasing a um, match which is um, which consists of uh, six players going three versus three. We have from Team Newcomb we have Klaas, Giuliani, and Dambi, two um, players from Netherlands and one American. And from Team Scott we have Lavrenti from Russia. Kinch and uh, Overkill. I believe they both were from the uh, United States. Playing on Aeos Ridges, a good map, a popular map. So let's go at it. Alright, so Overkill starting at the bottom middle, playing as Allied. Kinch also playing as Allied. And to the top left, we have uh, Lavrenti Palic, a Russian playing player playing as Russia so that's uh, gonna be interesting for our uh, team Newcomb we have Klaas we have uh, Giuliani starting in the middle and to the bottom we have Don B playing as uh, the only Soviet for uh, for his team so yes uh, also know that uh, this uh, video will be from the point of view of Team Scott, so we will see basically uh, the entire match from their point of view. Yes, maybe we'll take a quick peek at uh, the world map and uh, key uh, points of the game. We'll see. So here is Lavrenti making a uh, excellent aura finder replacement, which you should do. This is how you want to do it. You place it exact as close to the ore field as possible not like this because the ore truck has to drive far to the ore and you're gonna lose a lot of money during the game that way so uh, don't do that also if you do not know where the ore patches are then build the barracks first and while you're building your ore refinery then you can scout a little bit with a couple of units because in the long run you're gonna benefit greatly from that uh, overkill, probably gonna build like a thousand uh, ore refineries, I mean uh, ore harvesters, as uh, that is his uh, prime strategy, there he goes, the ore harvester spamming is gonna start right away with the uh, early war factory. Hmm. Yeah, and he's also gonna expand north, trying to get to the middle position as quickly as possible, as that's uh, one of the main contested the ore patches in this map or I should say I should say on this map and uh, Labrenti doing the same strategy is gonna spam out ore har harvesters which you can do in uh, 3 versus 3 if um, unless those three players are gonna plan out some uh, combined attack early on then you definitely should try to get uh, as far ahead in the economy game as early as possible. Uh, Kinch here build, uh, building two ore refineries, and uh, of course you can do that, but you cannot. You're not going to get away with placing them as far away from the ore patch as we see here. He's going for a radar dome next, so we're probably going to try to get up some uh, hinds to help out his uh, teammates and maybe do some scouting early on. Here we go, overkill gap 4 or harvesters. Kinch with 2, with a long way to drive. And uh, Labrenti, oh, also intercepted a uh, some grenadiers. <laughs> One actually getting away and get to scout Kinch base. That's unfortunate. But at least I think they uh, killed a bunch of grenadiers beforehand, so at least he's not going to do any damage just uh, being a jerk alright so uh, yeah Labyrinthi Palic gets, gets uh, about 5 or harvesters now so uh, team Newcomb excuse me Scott is uh, focusing heavily on the uh, econ game especially our uh, two experienced players which are Overkill and Labyrinthi mm. And I believe Overkill is going to go for Heinz as well. He's known for that strategy. 
Mm -hmm. And there's Labyrinth with his red arm. He's gonna probably get out some yucks. And uh, also, when you see like this, you can see you can see light tanks and a couple of uh, artillery, as well as uh, enemy hinds. You should uh, prepare for a uh, possible attack because that means uh, they're probably gonna do something uh, nasty. Uh, Labyrinth is starting to pump out some heavy tanks. It's gonna have some uh, something to uh, answer for uh, for a possible early attack by the enemy. Took out a uh, artillery and uh, has to escape with this uh, heavy tank. It's gonna barely survive. And uh, yeah, it's well done for Labyrinth uh, having uh, these uh, medium tanks. Excuse me, heavy tanks earlier. It's gonna prevent any. Uh, and he uh, early destruction. Here he goes. All right, so he's gonna take that Tesla coil. Ooh, it just moved out of range just before he got to destroy it. Now he's going back inside. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I think he wanted to destroy that Tesla coil, but the uh, anti-air gun was in the way, and then he could not fire on it. He's gonna try a second attempt here, but it's uh, the defense structures of the enemy is building up fast. And now, uh, that third heavy tank was probably a little too much, and now it doesn't have the defense to hold that position, so we probably gonna have to be uh, pushed back. Overkill, going for the middle position now with this, uh, I believe, second uh, MCV. Uh, Labyrinthi with it, that was his only aura refinery that was taken out, so now it's basically without a source of income. Uh, that's unfortunate, but he's gonna have to move back and try to re-establish a base uh, uh, that way. I'm not sure what else he can do here. It's gonna be pushed heavily. It seems like the enemy team has gathered all their forces up to the top left uh, corner and it's gonna push away uh, uh, most of uh, Labyrinth's uh, high-tech buildings. The service depot is gonna... Service depot and the war factory is gonna be taken out here for sure. And uh, he's gonna have to move his uh, MCV. In the meantime, Overkill has built his second war factory and <laughs> has now three MCVs. So uh, if Labyrinth can get back and uh, su support his uh, team with his remaining forces, they might do well here. After all, also taking out that enemy or a refinery is very good. Losing those two artillery, but it doesn't matter. You can can be satisfied with taking out that war refinery. Yeah, here comes Labyrinthi back with his uh, MCV. It's gonna probably place it in between Kinch and Overkill. Just to start to work on that uh, middle uh, Orfield. Also, Kinch still haven't uh, built uh, any closer to any Orfield. And that's unfortunate because it doesn't really take that much to uh, to sort of match the good players when you, if you can get a good economy, because as you can see, if you just build a, a ore refinery a little bit closer to that ore patched, and in that case, you could probably get up some forces uh, to help his teammates. Uh, yeah, Overkill is doing a good job claiming that middle position. Also getting Kinch to uh, build up a couple of turrets there to the left. So even though they lost the uh, the top left position, they still can uh, they still can come out of this on top. Ooh, our enemy team is uh, gathering a heavy 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 force to try to take that middle position, and they have a lot of rocket troops, so they might do, do some real damage here. Uh, only Overkill is the one with uh, the forces to defend here, so that's that's the trouble. That's a pr that's a trouble. Uh, where's Kinch? He sh he's probably thinking of uh, defending his uh, side of uh, the team base, but they cannot lose this middle position. This is the most important position for the team. He's going to lose this war factory for sure. Uh, probably also uh, one MCV. 
And they're gonna have to muster up some defense quick. One anti air. It's gonna take out the, this uh, yaks. But I don't see any more uh, forces coming up. Oh, just streaming up some infantry to the right side here. It's gonna help deal with the rifle infantry, but those uh, tanks are the main problem at this point. You're gonna have to take out this, gonna build turrets, gonna have to build some. Uh, ah, gonna have to build some turrets. That's basically it. Ah, it's gonna go straight for the MCB now. Here's the turret. Ah, it's actually gonna have to. Yeah, it's gonna actually successfully take out those uh, tanks. But is it too late? We'll see about that. Ah, here comes some yaks. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna crash land straight into the last ore refinery. But the MCV survives, and also the middle position has been, has been um, retained by uh, Team uh, Scott here. The only question is, uh, did they do enough? Uh, did Team New can do enough damage to Team Scott to prevent them from, from doing, uh, from doing any further? Advancements. Here's uh, Overkill actually taking out three, four, five, <laughs> five artillery, and it's gonna it's gonna retain his position even better. That's well, well done. Very well done indeed. Uh, Team Yukem hasn't built any uh, any tech centers yet, as you can see it in the top left corner. When you build a tech center, you're gonna have a countdown to the GPS satellite going up. So. Uh, in that fashion, if they can hold on to this uh, middle position, they, they are still in the game. Although, uh, looks like Team Nukem, Team Nukem still has a formidable army. But they're, they're actually uh, wasting away this army right now into a bunch of turrets built by Team Scott here. That might be because they think this is the only... Yeah, this is the only real source of income they have. Then you can do that, but uh, as you can see, if you see at the minimap, uh, we can expect Overkill to have like five, six, seven ore trucks harvesting the middle, uh, the uh, bottom middle ore position, the ore patch there, which is about to be uh, emptied. So if they can keep grabbing on to these uh, ore patches in the middle, they can fight back. There is a possibility here. Hmm. All right, so Labrenti is back. He's uh, built up uh, his base uh, in the middle, as we can see between Kinch and Overkill, and also uh, from earlier on retained his uh, tech center. So I wonder if he's going to build anything there. But his economy is probably probably low, so he's going to, in all uh, likelihood, he's going to support Overkill as much as he can to take that middle position. Oh, there goes the GPS satellite up. Uh, the, the countdown has started for both Klaas and Giuliani. So that means... Um, that means they are advancing in tech. I don't see... Uh, I don't see Overkill building any... any tech center... anytime soon. I guess he's uh, busy enough to get up his uh, infrastructure. Here comes another MCV. That's, I think that's the, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, that's the third MCV he's building for the game. Just gonna put it up right there and uh, so he can keep pushing up with his structures onto the middle. Mm, all right, so uh, now we can see the team you can is gathering up some forces at the bottom right. It's gonna, uh, Team Scott immediately builds up a wall to prevent that from uh, from an attack from happening. It's very clever if you can just get a uh, yeah. There's a uh, Tesla coil built up by uh, Laventi, doing well to support Overkill there. It's not going to get nobody's going to go through there. Oh, uh, here's Kinch struggling with a massive attack from Klaus and. Uh, Kinch with three <laughs> light tanks is not gonna do anything to stop that. This uh, this force is in all likelihood just gonna wipe out Kinch's entire base. There's nothing that's gonna stop that, as I can see. No, Overkill is uh, still gonna have to hold the middle ground. Labyrinthi has basically no units to uh, support here. But this. Uh, 
This was bound to happen as Kinch has a low economy and therefore cannot muster up a, uh, a solid defense to stop this. Oh, and here is uh, Dombey coming in with his uh, forces from the bottom right, just slamming into the sides of Overkill's middle position with no defensive structures placed there. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think this time uh, we can expect uh, any comeback uh, from uh, Team Scott here. So that, means, so that basically means that the initial loss of Leverenti's uh, topless position basically was too much to recover from. This was a balanced uh, uh, matchup after all and uh, you cannot expect uh, a, um, a comeback after one of the two experienced players on one of the teams is taken out early. But we'll see uh, <laughs> Overkill is gonna stay in the game and uh, at least take out the entire army of uh, Dombey and a uh, part of uh, Kinch army. So that's a little fun to see but uh, you can, we can expect uh, Overkill to surrender here in, uh, in a moment. He is not the uh, last man standing kind of player. That's not overkill at all. Alright, so he's gonna just move his forces to the left here. Uh, maybe deal with the uh, forces of uh, class. Oh, there he goes. It's over. Kinch surrenders. Well, that's how it goes. Uh, that's... Uh, that's the match from uh, the point of view of Team Scott. So if you wish, uh, you can watch uh, this game uh, once more, but uh, with the point of view from Team Newcomb. I'm gonna release this uh, video uh, in uh, not too long a time. So um, thank you for watching this. This is Soul Scared. I'll see you guys later.